Hello friends, uh, I'm once again making an unscripted video uh, and when I do these kinds of videos I'm usually responding to something that's happening in the world. This week we had the speech of Bolsonaro, Brazil's president, at the UN General Assembly and I cannot but respond to what the lies and the, the, the unscrupulous statements that he made there, especially with regards to the Amazon and to indigenous peoples. Uh, with regards to the Amazon, he says that Brazil is keeping the Amazon primitive and pristine, which can't be more far farthest from the truth. The Amazon has for many years, many decades now, been destroyed. Those who have traveled to the Amazon, those who accompany science on the Amazon, know that the Amazon is every year, every year disappearing, being destroyed. And this year we had a large amount of deforestation, a large amount of fires, as you saw in the media. And this was uh, brought about by scientists. And of course, our, go our government doesn't want scientists uh, to have a say, because it will show, science will show what's really happening on the ground. And clearly, Bolsonaro's uh, objective with this is to make the Amazon an environment that will be safe for his friends who are the large landowners, the cattle ranchers, the mining companies, the logging companies, uh, the American mining companies that he wants so much to bring to the Amazon to mine for many metals in the Amazon. And at the speech at the UN, uh, he took a friend of his, which is an indigenous uh, woman that says uh, she's a rightist or a right-wing indigenous person. Uh, she's a YouTuber. Uh, and she's well known by us uh, for a long time now. By myself, I have filmed her before uh, when uh, many years ago she was uh, campaigning against the Belo Monte hydroelectric dam project. So many years ago she was an activist uh, against uh, Belo Monte Dam against uh, large hydroelectric dams in the Amazon and she said she was for the environment and now uh, she's been shown her, showing herself as a right-wing uh, indigenous person without ever defining what right-wing really means for her. Does it, would it mean for her, for example, that to be right-wing would be to be for the rights of the individual over the rights of the collective? Because if that were so, could she still claim, as our President Bolsonaro claimed at the UN, could she still claim to, claim to represent indigenous people? Because indigenous people are for collective rights. Indigenous cultures, they speak about their own collective rights first, before any individual rights. So, if she's speaking, uh, she's saying she's right-wing, then she cannot really represent any indigenous community because indigenous community do not depart from the idea that the individual rights should uh, be, come before collective rights. It's rather the opposite. So, 
but I don't have to bring this claim anyway because all indigenous leaders of Brazil have already said that she cannot represent indigenous peoples in Brazil. She has no legitimacy for it. So I am leaving in the video description many links to what I'm talking about, uh, to, letter, to a letter, for example, from indigenous leaders of the Xingu region where Isani Kalapalo, the supposed leader of indigenous people, new leader of indigenous people, uh, which is a laughable thing uh, that President Bolsonaro took to the UN. All these leaders of the real leaders of the Xingu and leaders from all over Brazil are saying this government is disrespecting them because it's choosing a person that does not represent any organization, any community, any leadership uh, of indigenous people in Brazil to represent all indigenous people in the UN. It's just doing that because this person is a puppet, uh, is, is a puppet being used uh, to propel the idea that indigenous people are with the government when the government in fact acts again, again and again against the interests of indigenous communities of Brazil. Uh, he disrespects uh, Brazilian people this way because our Brazilian people include indigenous people. We need to be heard, we need to be respected. Uh, the forest needs to be respected as part of our community as well. And this government certainly cannot speak for the Amazon rainforest in no way, in no time. So anyway, that's it for today. Uh, I think you know by now that our government of Brazil is a fraud. Anything it does is a fraud. It's against its own community. It's not working for the interests of Brazil or of the world. President Bolsonaro needs to step down. He's a fraud. He's a, it's a fascist fraud.